Filing your taxes shouldn't be difficult, and unless it's complicated, shouldn't be too expensive either. If you think tax filing is a hassle and expensive, I've got some good news for you. There are some free and user-friendly options that can make this process much smoother. But there are restrictions and limitations on who can actually use these free tax filing services. In this video, I'll explore my top three free tax filing options, which are Vita, AARP, and the IRS's free file program. Hey everyone, I'm Noel Lorenzana. I'm a CPA, and what can I say? I love free stuff. Seriously, who wouldn't want to get their taxes filed for free? Now, I know what you might be thinking. TurboTax used to advertise this heavily about their free tax filing offer, but they were sued by the FTC for false claims and ordered not to use free unless it was something that was actually free for all consumers. I made a video on that, which I'll link up here. With that being said, let's explore these real free tax filing options. I'll go over who qualifies, what's offered, and the pros and cons. First up, we have Vita. Let's go to their website. Okay, so this is actually an IRS page, free tax return preparation for qualifying taxpayers. The IRS's Volunteer Income Tax Assistance, or VITA, offers free basic tax return preparation to qualifying individuals. The VITA program has been around for over 50 years, and it offers free tax help to people who need assistance in preparing their own tax returns. Okay, let's go to their actual website. Here it is at benefits.gov. What is Volunteer Income Tax System? You can read more about that. Who is eligible? How do I apply? And we'll come back to this. And I also want to show you where you can actually receive assistance. We'll come back to that. But real quick, let's go back and look at the pros and cons. So first we have VITA, the IRS's Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program, which offers free basic tax preparation to qualified individuals. So what are the pros of VITA? Well, it's a free service, IRS approved volunteers. The volunteers who provide tax help are trained and certified by the IRS, which ensures a competence level of service. You have convenience. VITA sites are often located in community centers, libraries, schools, and other easily accessible locations, making it very convenient for eligible taxpayers. Electronic filing. VITA does offer electronic filing or e-filing, which can lead to faster tax refunds compared to paper filing. They support various tax credits. Their volunteers are knowledgeable about various tax credits, such as the earned income tax credit, child tax credit, that can be very beneficial to taxpayers. They offer bilingual support. Many VITA sites offer services in multiple languages, which accommodates a broader range of taxpayers. Next, let's go to the cons of VITA. What are some of the cons? Well, there are income limitations. VITA services are primarily for people who earn $64,000 or less, persons with disabilities, the elderly, and limited English-speaking taxpayers, which excludes higher income individuals. Complex tax situations are not covered. So VITA might not be suitable for the more complex tax situations, such as for small business owners with employees, rental properties, or extensive investment activity. Uh, so maybe if you bought an electric vehicle with a home charger, they may or may not cover that. Cryptocurrencies, I highly doubt they would cover those. So moving on, limited availability. Vita services are generally available only during the tax season and the hours of availability might be limited, which can be inconvenient for some. And if you need to reach them after tax season, you probably won't be able to connect with anybody. Uh, you also have the potential for long wait times. Depending on the location, there can be long wait times to receive help, especially as the tax deadline approaches. Privacy concerns. Some people may not be comfortable discussing their financial situation in a public setting like at a Vita site. Dependency on volunteer availability. So the quality of service might vary depending on who's available and their expertise of the volunteers. But basically, if you qualify for VITA, it can be a great resource. I know a lot of legitimate tax professionals who volunteer or who have volunteered for VITA.
before we leave, let me just show you some of their locations local to downtown Chicago. Okay, so you can actually search the Vita locations near you. I entered the area code, I'm sorry, I entered the zip code 60601, which is downtown Chicago and within 100 miles. Uh, there's a location here, Church of God of Chicago, Kingdom Baptist Church, Northeastern Illinois University, M&H Tech Services, Elmwood Park Library, Eisenhower Public Library, Senior Center of Norwich, Triton College, Rock of Ages Baptist Church, Melrose Park Library. So there's quite a few locations that are available. So this could be really handy for you. You can find out if you qualify, see if there's a location near you, and try to get an appointment. Next up is the IRS's free file program. Let's take a look at their website. IRS free file, do your taxes for free. IRS free file lets qualified taxpayers prepare and file federal income tax returns online using guided tax preparation software. Uh, it's safe, easy, and no cost to you. Those who don't qualify can still use free file fillable forms. So the IRS free file program gives you two options. Option one is guided tax software. Option two is fillable forms. Okay, let's go back to our slideshow. So let's go over the pros and cons. The pros of the IRS's free file, specifically the guided tax software, there's no cost for eligible taxpayers. So it's free for individuals whose income falls below a certain threshold, which can change year to year, makes it an affordable option for many taxpayers. And for the current year, that's 79,000 of adjusted gross income or less to qualify for this. Ease of use. The software guides taxpayers through the tax filing process with a step-by-step -step approach, which is kind of like TurboTax or Tax Act if you've used those in the past. This can be very helpful for those who aren't really familiar with tax laws and the tax forms. Next, we have accuracy. The software includes built-in calculators and checks for common errors, which reduces the chance of making mistakes. You can direct deposit your refunds. This is really convenient because it allows for faster refunds. You have a variety of software choices. And let me show you the software choices right now. So here I'm at the IRS screen where you can browse their trusted partners for this guided tax software. So down here you can see OLT, online taxes, 1040.com fileyourtaxes.com. Uh, here's another one, IRS free file program delivered by Easy Tax Return, 1040 Now, Tax Slayer, Tax Act, and Free Tax USA. So keep in mind that, I'll cover this in the con section, but they don't all cover the state tax returns. Free Tax USA does, if you qualify, their income limit is $45,000 or less. Tax Act, uh, $79,000 or less. It's free in some states. You can click on it to find out more. So they all have the restrictions, the income restrictions, maybe age limit. Uh, they will do, they will cover the federal returns, but not all will include the state tax returns. And some don't include earned income tax credits or maybe military pay and other things. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so we looked at the website to show the different software options. Next up, let's look at the cons of IRS free file, the guided tax software. Uh, so we have income restrictions. So they're only available for free to taxpayers with an adjusted gross income below certain levels. And I showed that on the previous screen. You can reference those. Limited features in the free versions. So some software might limit features or forms in the free version. So later it might require you to pay for something, especially if you have a, a complex tax situation or if you need your state tax return filed. So keep that in mind. Um, and I already covered this, may not include the state tax filing. So check the details before you dive in and use them as your free tax filing program. Varies by provider. The experience and offerings can vary significantly from one provider to another. Uh, if you use one, you might want to keep using that year after year after year. It just becomes easier that way. Okay, so next up we have the IRS's free file fillable forms. These are electronic federal tax forms. They're equivalent to a paper 1040 form. 
With this, you should know how to prepare your own tax return. You should have some familiarity using the form. You should understand basic instructions and the IRS publications if needed. So let's go over the pros and cons. So the pros of the IRS's free file fillable forms is there's no income limit. It's available to all taxpayers regardless of your income level. It has flexibility. Uh, it offers more control to those who are familiar with tax forms and prefer to fill out the forms themselves directly. Electronic filing. It does allow for e-filing, which can result in faster processing and faster refunds compared to paper filing. So what are some of the cons? Uh, there's no guidance provided. So if you have a question, you're pretty much on your own. So it's not ideal for those who aren't familiar with basic tax laws or have complex tax situations. No state tax filing. So free file fillable forms does not include state tax filing, which means taxpayers have to find other means to file their state tax returns. Using this can be error prone. Since there's no software to check the entries or check the math, you have to do that yourself. Um, so it's easier to make mistakes that could lead to errors, processing delays, and maybe even audits. This requires more tax knowledge. So it's best suited for those who already have a good understanding of their tax situation, their tax obligations, and the forms that they need to file their taxes. With that being said, it's really not a bad option if you already know how to fill out the forms and your situation isn't too complex. Finally, let's take a look at AARP. The AARP Foundation Tax Aid Program is a service primarily aimed at helping senior citizens, although it's not just limited to them. And just so you know, AARP defines seniors as over 50, which isn't very old if you ask me. Let's look at their website. Okay, so here's their website, 2024 AARP Foundation Tax Aid Service. Okay, the foundation provides tax assistance to anyone free of charge with a special focus on taxpayers who are over 50 or have low to moderate income. Tax aid volunteers are located nationwide and are trained and IRS certified every year to make sure they know about and understand the latest changes and additions to the tax code. So there's two options here. Have somebody prepare my taxes, locate sites near me. Let's click on this and see what comes up. Okay, so here is their tax aid site locator. Okay, so using Chicago, Illinois, 50 mile radius, these are the locations. Hall Branch Library on Michigan Avenue. So you can see they have limited times, Wednesday from 10 to two, in person or drop off. Whitney Young Library, Saturday from 10 to 2, in person or drop off. So one challenge with AARP is the limited availability and actually getting an appointment. So if you can get an appointment and, you're, and you qualify and your tax situation is straightforward, it is a great option. I've had clients who've jumped around, they've used me a few years when their tax situation was complicated, or they went over to AARP at the local library. But I can tell you, my local library, they are only doing drop-offs and the appointments are very limited. Let's go back to the pros and cons. Okay, some of the pros of the AARP free tax prep assistance is that it's a free service and that's great, which can save you a lot of money, especially if you qualify. Volunteer expertise. The volunteers are trained and IRS certified with many having specific expertise and issues that affect seniors, such as maybe pension, social security, and retirement related questions. Uh, it's accessible for older adults. The program is tailored to the needs of people over 50, making it more accessible and relevant to older taxpayers. Wide availability, it's available nationwide. They have a broad network of locations. Uh, they're usually held at libraries, community centers, and other convenient public meeting places. Electronic filing, they do offer electronic filing, which is always better than paper filing, in my opinion. Personalized assistance, 
So you are meeting with a person face to face typically, uh, which can be beneficial for those who prefer the in person face to face meetings. But I know a lot of them, especially ones that are local to me, are using a drop off method. Basically, you have a short meeting with a text professional and you drop off your documents. So they're not preparing your taxes while you wait like they did in the past. So what are some cons of AARP's free tax prep assistance? Well, it's targeted primarily at older taxpayers. It doesn't necessarily say it excludes younger people. So I don't know if you can really get the service if you're under 50. They don't exclude you definitively. So I'd be curious to know. Let me know in the comments if you're under 50 and you can use AARP's free tax prep assistance. Complex tax situations may not be covered. So AARP may not handle very complex tax situations such as uh, maybe business income, extensive investments, maybe electric vehicle purchasing and home charging setups and maybe cryptocurrencies. So just know that limited service period. So their service is primarily available for a short time during tax season. And even when it is available, as you saw on, the, on their website page, their, the times that they offer was maybe once a week for maybe four hours. So I would imagine, I've never done this, but I would imagine that there would be long wait times. Uh, but I believe it's appointment only. So you want to make sure you make an appointment before you go out. Uh, potential wait times. Yes, depending on the location and demand, there probably are going to be wait times. Privacy concerns. Uh, as with any in-person service and with any random person preparing your tax return, um, you may not see them again, so you don't know what they're going to do with your tax information. And with discussing your personal financial situation in a public setting can be concerning to some. Uh, variable experience based on location and volunteers. The level of service can vary depending on the volunteers, expertise, and the specific location where you're at. So like they say, your mileage may vary. So that wraps up our dive into some of the free tax filing options out there. We've looked at the IRS's VITA program, the IRS's free file options, and AARP's tax aid service. It's a bit of a mixed bag, right? Well, they're super helpful for a lot of folks, especially if your tax situation is on the straightforward side. They're not a one-size-fits-all solution. If you're dealing with something more complex or if your income level is above a certain amount, you might need to look elsewhere. But for those who fit the bill, these services can be a real lifesaver, especially if you're on a fixed income. I mean, who doesn't love getting a bit of expert help without having to open up their wallet? So if you're getting ready to tackle your taxes and wondering if one of these options could work for you, definitely give them a look. And hey, if you found this information helpful or if you've got your own tax time wisdom to share, hit that like button, drop a comment, and don't forget to like and subscribe. If you need a tax preparation checklist, I've got a really good one that you can download for free. Just click on the link at the end of the video. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.